Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. All right, so we just did our first contract. Right now we're taking our equipment that we rented back to good old Clever Motors over there. All right. Are you coming across the street, sir? No, he's walking around. All right, he's going. Let's see, we'll pull up into Clever Motors over here. Drop off this equipment. Still feeling a little bit, you know, refreshed. So uh, we can, we got a lot more in us. Still early in the day. Let's see if we can find some more contracts or some more work to do. Good old Clever Motors. This place has been fantastic, fantastic. What we'll do, we'll pull around the back over here. I would, I would prefer to clean this off before returning it. Personally, I mean, I don't, I don't have to, but yeah, I'm might invest in a pressure washer so I can return this stuff. It's not too terribly dirty, especially for something that did uh, some cultivating work. Still looks pretty good. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna return these keys, uh, check their job board, and see what we have available for work. Okay, looking through some of the jobs here, a good bit of uh, harvesting jobs. Hmm, that is a lot of money, but that field is enormous. 55.58 hectares. That is a gigantic field, my goodness. Um, Eventually, well, we will do some of these large ones, uh, but we'll probably hire like a team to get all that done. But I'm just trying to maintain a, a smaller profile at the moment, you know, get our name out there for our business. Hmm. Got any ideas for a business name? Yeah. Like I said, we're going to be focusing around logistics and things like that. If you have any ideas for names for the business, write them down in the comments if you don't, uh, if you don't mind. Let's see. I really want to get into this supply and transport part of the business. Yeah, see that like we just need to find a way to get these products without necessarily having fields for each product. At some point, we're going to have you know, fields and own those fields and produce crops. But right now, we're just more in the logistics portion of this. So, yeah, now I did get some good news uh, when returning the keys for the rental. Uh, we have a potential opportunity. There is a farm. Uh, let me show you on the map here. <clears throat> There's a farm up here and they said they needed some topsoil moved. They noticed that, you know, we had some pretty decent skills when we did our little excavator tryout, the Kubota excavator, the mini X. Um, they told me, where was that at? If I'm looking on this map, it's up here, right? We're, we're, in, we're in the center, center of my screen. They said it was up here, so this farm. So what I'll do, I'll go get the truck. We'll ride up there and we'll see what they want us to do. We got to get a, a good idea of the scope of work, right? So we'll do that real quick. And let me see. I'm going to think about some of these contracts that we do have uh, here. I perhaps we'll do this one. It's on field 13. It's not that big, but uh, it's not not going to yield a lot of profit either. It's field 25. Let's see what that one looks like. Field 25. Hmm. 25. Where is 25? I am missing it. It's 20. Oh, 25 is relatively large. Now it is behind we wouldn't have to transport the equipment. It's right behind old good old clever motors right there. Hmm. And we could borrow their equipment for 2,800 and they have, Oh, they have some fantastic equipment too. You know, we might end up doing that one. We'll see, but let's go ahead and get this first, uh, kind of thing out of the way here. Oh man, my truck is over there. Yeah, I should have left my truck here. You know what? Um, yeah, let me go walk down there and I'll see you in a second. All right, nice little brisk little walk. 
Ooh. Gets the heart rate up, you know, exercise. Do, 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 do. All right, we're gonna go get in our truck. We're gonna go take a trip over to the farm on the map that we saw and see what they would like us to potentially do for them. Ah, nice truck. I like walking. Mmm, but I like driving also. All right, see you guys in a little bit. We are approaching our destination. Now, they wanted us to, to move some topsoil. Topsoil is, it can be very good, good business, but there's a limited supply of it. Oh, there's some, there's a little pile of uh, topsoil over there. I think that's probably what they were talking about. So it's not a, a huge job. Be perfect for the mini X, and uh, we can probably borrow that from our wonderful friends at Clever Motors. Um, I'm gonna go talk. Well, this looks like their barn. Let me go up to the house here on the hill and make sure that's you know they need a contractor or you know just us to do some work for them and. Make sure that that is exactly what they want from us. All right. Nice place. Very nice. Hmm. All right. I'll be right back. Let me uh, talk to these wonderful people and I'll see you in a second. Okay, guys. So, yes, that was the case. Very nice people. Um, they have a lovely uh, farm right here. So, I'm going to drive over there and we'll just take a closer look now that we, you know, we pretty much have the work and we just got to finish it. So, what they said is they have gotten paid for the topsoil. So, our transportation fees will come from the destination once we you know, deliver the soil. Essentially, they got their cut already. They just need somebody to move it. And once we deliver it, we will get paid then. So yeah, looks like they have it all set up. It's not a huge amount of soil, but it looks very good. Look at that. Some good topsoil. Like they have a good, man, they got a lot of grassland out here. Very beautiful, look at this, this is lovely. A lot of wildflowers, uh, some hot air balloon. Well, there's a hot air balloon. I thought I saw another one, but yeah, lovely. Okay, so I uh, got to get a few things. So we're going to get the Mini X. Um, we'll get the Mini X. We'll probably get a small dump truck, at least a truck with a dump bed on it. I thought about getting a, a trailer, dump trailer, but... No, nah, we'll just get a small dump truck. Yeah. All right. I'm going to head over to Clever Motors, and I'll see you guys in a little bit after we get some equipment. Actually, I want to pull it up the catalog. All right. See you in a few. All right. So on the way back to Clever Motors, uh, the those with those eagle eyes may have noticed they're $1,000 lighter. So I put a deposit down electronically for the Mini X. Uh, call Clever Motors. They're like, yep. And we used it that other time for some other job too. So yeah, I figured we'll hold it for a couple days. So yeah, just in case something else pops up. So I just put down a, a 1K. Now um, we can get it. We've rented it. But we need to transport it also. So let's go figure out something there. Now, they do have a great selection of not only equipment, like the actual equipment itself, but 
you know, trailers and just the accessories, I guess you can say that. So, yeah, this thing's pretty much brand new. Looks great. So we got the bucket. We got the Mini X. Let's go get us a trailer. And a truck. Now that I'm thinking about it. All right. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Trailers. Let's go into low loaders and our catalog here. Um, So I think this one has, well, what is that? Some, oh, oh, that's the, the the new yarder thing. I didn't know that was capable of being a yarder. Okay, it does have auto load. We could get that. That's nice, very nice. But we don't need auto load at the moment. But I might might lean towards getting that. That'll that'll haul that uh, mini X very well. Now we have this option. They're both 8K. The Kaufman here, very nice also. Mm -hmm. Let's see, change the wheels up, something like that. Mm -hmm. Has the triple axle, three, no, well, six wheels all together, but no, one, two, three axles. Very stable. Uh, it's not less, hmm. I would love to get this. I mean, it looks like the other one, but you can actually go up to 50 feet. Now I do, I didn't notice something with this one. And I think I'm gonna make a mod time uh, about it. So stay tuned for that. So we're not gonna get this one today, but once I do my mod time, I'll explain a little bit more about this uh, 50 foot gooseneck transport trailer mod and maybe Maybe figure some things out. We'll we'll save it for then. So yeah, we'll um we'll go with the the second option. This one that has the option for auto load production pallets, but we'll leave that off for now because we're gonna transport a vehicle. Yeah, and we'll keep everything pretty much down a winch. You gotta have a winch, why not? You know, put the winch right there just in case. I don't even know if that's that's maybe what you can pull the, the logs with. Hmm, interesting. I'll try that out at some point. EU, US. I like those US style tension belts. They look chunky. So we'll try those out. I've not seen those before. And this has the option for a bumper pull at some point if we need it, but we'll probably just buy a stand, no, buy a full up bumper pull if we need it. But for now, good to go. Boom. All right. Bought. That's ours, y'all. So let's get us a truck, a small dump bed truck. Let's see. Go back up here. Look into, yeah, look in vehicles. I think they're, I remember seeing something that had an option for that. Hmm. They have this dump truck. 2017 looks very nice. Now the capacity is a, a bit small for what we need. We could make multiple trips, true indeed. But let me see, can we change? Oh, that's nice. You put a letter across the top there. But no, then change the capacity. 2000 is good capacity indeed, but we're looking for at least about 10,000 10, liters. Um, I've got a van, a couple vans. I love these gators and you know, uh, the HUVs. Yeah, they're great. We'll, we'll get one of those at some point. Yabba dabba do. Uh, let's see. Hmm. There's some, um, maybe we get a truck with a trailer. Dump. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Let us. Yeah. Yep. We're going to get one of these wonderful things by, I believe, Mr. 82 Studios. Now, he also did the uh, wonderful 50 foot trailer. Um, 
yeah, and you know, let's just get single cab. We don't need the well, we don't need something super horsepowery. We'll just keep something standard since we're going to rent it. It's a turbocharged I6. I stands for inline. That means it's a rather than a V formation, it's a straight formation. Those engines typically have more torque. Typically, um, just as we can talk about all that stuff, you know, love cars and stuff, <laughs> all types of technology. So this is a nice looking truck, man. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're not going to go with anything particularly fancy. <clears throat> we just need it to haul some stuff for us. So we'll lease that. What's that? 1,400. Let's say 1,400. So right now, but between leasing the mini X and this, we're about 2,500 bucks. So hopefully all this pays off. We'll see. Um, I didn't profit too well from my last job, but you know, baby steps. <laughs> I'd really enjoy kind of starting from scratch a little bit here. Mm, check the presets just to see what, ah, look good, but we don't need, we don't need that for now. All right. So let's go with combinations and there should be a dump bed here. Hmm. 6,000. That's just an open bed there. And they have this pull behind. I don't think we need that. Let's see. Um, pa, 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 pa. We'll get the tippet 6,000. Let's see. Can we go up? Oh, we don't need unreal extension. Yeah, that's 8,000. And we'll get, we'll get the wooden panels. I like those. It looks, looks good. Fenders. No. Extension costs another 2000, but you know, make less trips. Yada, yada, yada. Let's lease it. 280 bucks. That ain't nothing. Lease that. All right. Let's look at our setup here. See what we got. Um, so I'll need to pull the trailer back over here and get that. So in fact, I'll go ahead and get that first and then back it up over here. Get our fancy new trailer. Ooh, look at that. Looks very nice. Let me hook it up and then we'll take a look. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's get on this side and get a little nice look at this. What do you guys think? You like it? I like it. I think it's good. Uh, it does have that winch right here. We'll give that a shot at some point. Maybe there is an option. I'm looking in the manual right now. Hmm. There may be an option. Yeah, we can let that down. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can do that remotely, but and that's actually with a mod. That's the open cover mod, I believe that will do that. But yeah, let's get in this nice truck here. We're gonna attach the dump body. This is a very nice truck. Look at that. Oop, I gotta do a little bit dry, better driving. Um, what we'll do, we'll go park it up over here by the road as we get ready to go. See here. Uh, I don't think anybody's gonna come out here, but that'll be okay. We'll leave it right there, warming up. That'll be going on a trip in our magic rocket ship. All right, back in the Ram. Let's go pick up our mini X that we rented. Uh, should have probably backed in here, but that's okay. Yeah, uh, this will work. The Mini X is not necessarily a speedy boy, so we're going to try to get as close as we can to it <laughs> to pick it up. All right, let's see here. Is it open cover? Yes, it is. Open cover. I'll pull that up a little bit so we have a little room. All right, I should have had this warming up, but I think we're good to go. All right, let's load her on the trailer and we'll go over to our contract job. 
Now they told me where to sell it. It's in a spot. I think they said the the back alley sell point. <clears throat> so it's like a container sell point that buys everything pretty much. So yeah. So once we deliver it there, we'll get paid. Oh, look at that. I love those straps. Yeah, big old yellow straps. So we we are centered mostly over the the axles here. I think the weight is distributed about correctly, so we should be able to tow that very well. All right, and what we'll do? We'll um we'll hire somebody to follow us in the truck here. Yeah. Let me cut on my hazard lights in case anybody comes up. We'll be just a second. It won't be too long here. We'll hop in here. Let's see. We have some workers here. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure we got the right follow. Hmm. Let me back this up and go closer to the truck because we want them to follow the truck. Here. We're looking for that little pop. Yeah, there we go. Boom. We have a worker. They were able to come assist us get our truck over there. All right. Off we go. Let's cut that off. And I think Yep, they're coming along. All right, y'all. Uh, we'll get over to the destination, and I'll see you in a, a little bit. Come on, buddy. Beat that truck, uh, that vehicle out. Yeah, he's coming along. Great. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, they did pretty well. They followed uh, pretty closely to a T there. So good distance. Um, pulling into the property now, right up on their driveway here. Yeah. So we'll pay the driver electronically there. They did an excellent job. <laughs> That's a good looking rig right there. Yeah. All right. And here we are. Okay, let me uh pay our helper. Thank you. Been wonderful. All right, now I'll position this in a place that I think will work pretty well for us as we are about to load this up. I think here, that'd be good. Yeah. Now I did check already the, the reach for this particular boom in this truck, they work perfectly, perfectly well. All right, this diesel is humming here. Um, we'll pull this over on the side a little bit. Okay, let's see. Unstrap that and we'll take that off. 
And we can cut off her truck for now. Let it sit there. Good. All right. Mm-hmm. We'll tuck that up. In fact, we'll rotate it around. And we're going to put our bucket out for a little bit of a counterbalance, you know, as we're going down this ramp here. This is a stable vehicle, so it's not too necessary. But if you have a bigger excavator, sometimes they'll put the bucket out like that and kind of walk the vehicle down to ensure it doesn't have any hard collisions down. But many X were okay. Yeah, yeah. Looking good. All right. I like this Mini X. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's get our positioning right here. All right. And I'm going to tilt my bucket. Well, twist it a bit. And let's do that to get that aligned. All right, let's get into it. First scoop. Mmm, smells like fresh dirt. Love it. All right. First bucket in, y'all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up my revs a little bit on the engine. And pretty much go ahead and work. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit after I load this up. Okay, that looks like a good full truck right there. Let me see how full we are here. Yeah, we got a little bit more space in there, so let me uh, top it off really quick here. Got some more revs in, so we didn't get a full bucket, but that should be enough to just top that off ever so slightly. Okay. What we'll do, we'll smooth out the top a little bit there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we have a little bit more on the ground here. I'll tell you what, I, we'll probably come back and get that. It's not a tremendous amount, but we have all this equipment out here. We might as well get everything. You know, that that's the job, right? To get it all. All right. Ooh, truck looks good. Okay, so we're going to the back alley cell point. Uh, let me look on the map to make sure I know where that is. So they told me it was over here behind these. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. So we'll go over there. Um, drop it off. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a second once we approach that destination. See you soon. All right, we are starting to approach the sale point. Um, and I just realized the the weight of the truck. So if you look in the bottom right corner, right below the, uh, the tachometer, the speedometer on the screen, you'll see our weight. So that first number is four tons. That's the actual weight of the vehicle. That number in the total is everything attached and everything that you're carrying. If if the mass updates, if that makes sense, if the mass updates with, uh, depending on the load of what you're carrying, but I'll say all that just to say 11.6 tons. This truck here is punching well above its weight. I'm very impressed. It's very stable. Uh, it's not bottoming out. Very nice. Very, very nice. So of course it's made by the legendary 82 studios. You know, he, he does a, a lot 
a lot of mods and they're all great um yeah check his stuff out man he has some youtube videos on what he does for modding a lot of helpful tips i learned a lot from him also um so thank you um speaking of which we talked about a little bit about that trailer and i, I think i have an idea uh of what let's say i think i have an idea of what we can do to to change something on there but well, we'll talk about it I, I have to do a little bit of investigation on it but regardless of that we're here at our sell point all right let's see how much this topsoil is worth at oh look at that they got some pallets in there what's that sugar I like sugar and cereal and some empty bins this is a nice little location all right uh oh right sorry wrong button Let's see if we really made a profit here. Hmm. It's topsoil. Like we made a little bit. Let's see. Let's see what our total is. Three thousand six hundred and ninety seven bucks. So not a tremendous amount. Just for hauling some dirt though, that's not bad. But like I said, we also rented some equipment. I think we're about twenty five hundred bucks in. So perhaps, perhaps we need to find another, another little contract or something that hauls something to make very good uh, on on what we're doing here. Uh, but regardless, like I said, this is more or less to get our name in the community to know that we offer services like this for people here. The money will come in. We just need to do good work. That's like anything else. We do good work. The money will come to so make sure you do work and that you're proud and happy of what you're doing, right? That's all that matters. All right, um, I'm gonna head back over to the farm. I'm gonna get the last little bit of soil. We'll load that in here. And I'll let the owner, well, the owners of the land know we're completed with that job and we'll have to transport everything back over to the sale point. Oh, sorry, not sale point, to the Clever Motors point. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, we're heading back in. Let me uh, get this last little bit of dirt here. Topsoil, that is. And then we shall talk to the owners of the land. Let them know we got everything cleaned up. Yeah, and then look for some more work, perhaps. Um, been quite a day. It was still early in the day, though. It's only, what, 10, 13 a.m.? Yeah. I'm trying to think of that one contract I saw. It was pretty... It's a good bit of money. I do need to bring in a good bit of money. I think I think we'll probably do it. It's like 25K. We can utilize their equipment. Everything should be at the field. I made a call to ask if, if we did borrow their equipment and they said it'll be all at the field if we needed to borrow it. Um, they had some very nice equipment too. Very, very nice. Like I said, we could employ somebody. We just like employed somebody to drive the truck over for us. Right, we could do that and that'll bring in a very pretty penny. It's a big job, too, so it, it makes sense. All right, try to load this in that corner. We got a little bit more dirt down there. I'll get that a little bit. I want to tip it out on the ground. We'll do like this. Okay. And we'll get this last little bit. I saw it somewhere. There it is. Yeah, it's sitting in the grass a little bit. There we go. 16 liters. Woo! Watch out now. Don't strain yourself lifting that up. I'm messing with my Kubota. I'm joking, Kubota. You're doing excellent. You're fantastic. All right. And while we're, we have the engine running on the Kubota, we'll go ahead and load it up on the truck. Nice job. We'll do the boom extension method of getting on the trailer. Let's see. I think we're good there. That'll kind of help us counterbalance lift that up a little bit okay. 
Okay. Great. All right. Fantastic trailer. So this trailer is going to be used quite a bit. I'm trying to recenter this uh, over those wheels there. All right. Bring that down. Don't want to hit our winch up there. And we'll blade down also, if I can remember the control for it. There we are. Blade down. Nice. Throw a few straps over here. I'm just throwing on the front of the bucket. I'll throw one there just for good measure. And use our remote control to close up our trailer. Great. All right, let me grab this truck. I'll drive up here, let the, uh, the owners of the land know. So we got another what, 1,500 liters of soil. Not bad, not too shabby. All right. I keep driving to the barn. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, here we go. We'll go up here. All right, I'm going to let the owners know, and I'll see you when I'm on the way over to the uh, sale point with the dirt. See you in a little bit. Okay, so this is the 1,500 liters of topsoil. Going to deliver to the uh, sale point here. And see what we get from this and start seeing if we're starting to really profit from here. So that brought in another 718 bucks. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. For just hauling some dirt, right? Okay, uh, so I need to go get our Ram, our work truck. We're gonna keep this truck a little bit longer the one I'm driving currently. In case we can get another job, um, I don't know if we will, but at least, at least we'll try. Regardless, uh, I'll see you guys in a few when I'm picking up the Ram and make some arrangements to get everything back to our shop and see what, uh, see about doing that bigger contract. All right, see you guys in a little bit. All right, we're back at it. Let's see. Uh, so we got paid and everything. We're good to go there. Kubota's loaded up. Let me check the uh, job site, make sure everything's tidy. We're not leaving anything. I think we're good there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a driver take this back over to our shop since we're gonna keep it for a day, maybe two, depending on if we, we have some work tomorrow or today or something. But yeah, let me uh, put it on a worker a task here. Uh, yeah. So we need to create a job. What? Um, oh, I need to select the vehicle first. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had it selected. Great job. Hmm. Perhaps not. Oh, let me try that. I switched my group. Let's try here. Yeah. Vehicle missing. Let me try something real quick. See if it's just me. Uh, okay, we're getting the Ram. Mm. Here, let's see. If I create a job, no, that that's that's right. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Let me try this again. I keep hitting the wrong thing. Sorry. All right, uh, create job. No, let's go back. I saw something. Cancel. Set destination. Aha. That'll do it. User error. That was on me. Um, you're down here. We'll have it come and park there. All right. Thank you. All right. That's fantastic. All right, let me uh, get this back over to our shop and we'll see about that contract. Whew, one of those days. <laughs> see you guys later.
Okay, back at our shop. You know what? I just had a realization. Um, we don't have a place to stay. <laughs> I've been so concerned about buying our shop and getting our work truck that I did not think about that. Of course, we can go get a hotel room or something like that. But we need at least a, a temporary place to stay. It's still early in the day. Maybe we'll look around for a hotel tonight or tomorrow or whatever. But yeah, I have to look for a place to rent. Um, yeah. Yep. Oh, that was that is phenomenal. That was great. Great, 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 great. Uh, let's see where our worker is. Oh, there they go. Coming on in. Coming in hot. Yep. Nice work. Good job. Fantastic. Found the place okay? Thanks. All right, I'll pull this up over here and park by our ram and yeah we'll go actually hmm, i'll probably take this truck over there and uh figure out about doing that contract yep all right see you guys in a little bit All right, we're back at the shop. Um, let me jog over here, show you guys this particular contract. Like I said, it is right behind the shop. It is a massive field, but we get to use all their equipment. I think We'll go ahead and do it. Yep. We'll do it. By Miss McFarland. Yeah, 14 hectares. Your bonus 53% is ready to harvest. We got some wheat. All right. That looks good. I'll be right back. Okay. The equipment is dropped off. Uh, the owner. Have some folks to bring it by, and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, what do we have here? So we have that fantastic Fin Ideal 8T. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And we have a Dynaflex 9255 40 foot cereal crop harvester head there. Um, ooh, we have the MAN semi truck over here. And this fantastic three-in-one trailer. So I think this has the, the walking floor and also the option of, you know, tilt dumping. So yeah, kind of ag tires. Great setup. Gonna need it. This is a big old field. So let me go ahead and get started. Uh, what I'll do, we're going to swing this around so I can have access to mount up our header. While I'm spinning around, I'm going to unfold our combine. Drop our trailer off there. We'll start right over here. And we'll work uh, counterclockwise, I guess, for the field. Yeah, we'll do that. Nice. Uh, this is a, this is fantastic. This is great. This is what we are going to aspire to. All right, let me cut on our. Yeah. Look at that. I'll go ahead and uh, nose into the field here. And I'm not going to cut on straw because I don't think the, the customer wants straw. But yep, we are harvesting. 
Again, a fantastic setup. This is great. Fancy. All right. Um, what I'll do, I'll go ahead and time lapse all this. At least until any major. Yeah, we're filling up pretty quick. So maybe to the first uh, time I'm unloading until the truck there. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, wonderful people. I'm going to keep on working and we'll make us some money. But I'll see you guys shortly. Yep, there we go. So I'm gonna have that out and I'm going to hop in the truck, empty it, and position my truck in a way that I think is uh, about the next time we need to empty. So that's at 12,500. Yeah. Let's see, I'm just gonna warp over to that really quick here. Uh -huh. Get in the truck. Yeah, I uh, unintentionally left that straw swath there, but no biggies. It'll all disappear once we're complete. We Well, once we have completed the contract. Yeah, up around this corner here was very tough. Um, you might have seen that, but I unintentionally have that mod. You can see it's not very even, but you know, we may do. I do have the mod that lets you change the header height. Um, I typically don't have that on most times, but I had it installed here. All right, let's see, we'll pull under here. That should empty in there. Great. Now we're probably going to be hmm, another. I pull over there by that shed somewhat. That way we'll have the truck there ready to empty. And yeah, I know I should be going the other way, but I'm um, I'm just doing counterclockwise now. Then I'll flip over to clockwise shortly here. Twelve thousand five hundred. There we go. Twenty one percent in the trailer. Let's see. We're going to have to make sure we don't damage the crop here or the equipment. Yep. We'll, uh, we'll do a swing around this way.
All right, everybody. We have almost a full uh, container here of wheat. So 98%. Whoa, he, they are not going in the path that I set. Oh, well, I'll come back and clean that up in a little bit. Um, let's see what we have here for our contract. Where is the delivery point? Hilltop Mill sale point. And I think, oh, that one's a little tough to get to. So we have a little twisty turny. That is incorrect for that. I don't know why that's showing. Yeah, that doesn't make sense why that's like that. So this is our sell point here. And what we're going to do, we're going to go up and sell this grain. So yeah, let me go get in the truck. Well, I'm already in the truck. We'll go up to that point. Yeah, this is a steep sail point. Well, the path to get to it, it is steep. It's rather high in elevation, but no worries. This nice uh, MAN truck here. Let's get into it with no problem. Okay, and uh, yeah, our combine is full <laughs> figures. But we'll get back to it, and let me double check to make sure I'm at the correct Sell point. I am there. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to make sure my, yep. It did not increase, which my money, the money didn't increase, which is a good indication that we are selling it at the right place. Cause this is going to the customer, the people we're doing the contract for 32% transported for field 25. All right. Let me go get back to the field and continue this contract.
This has been a big job. Um, as you probably saw in the time lapse there that we are actually done with the contract. So everything else off this field, you know, that's that's just us. That's for us. So um, I don't know. Take take your guess as to how many leaders we'll get post contract here. And we actually made a little bit. I think like four thousand, four and a half thousand bucks uh, just then. So yeah. That's a that's a good bit. That's substantial. So I feel good about our profit margin today. I think we we are gonna definitely well we're definitely gonna be in the green for today. Contract wise and everything else, uh, I know we had our dirt kind of hauling contract earlier, so that went well. Uh, it's fun to use the the mini X, and we're doing this contract. So this is a big one. Ooh, was it a big one? It's quite, quite, quite a feel. Uh, I don't know if, how well you could see it during the time lapse or not, but this is a very dynamic feel, meaning there are a lot of hills, crests, and valleys, and all that stuff. But yeah, it, it is quite dynamic indeed. You can kind of see it going. I had a little bit of a struggle on that corner of the field up there, uh, pointing that way. The harvester is pointing now, but uh, it wasn't too bad. wasn't too bad at all. Hopefully, we can get this last little bit here all in one uh, grain tank load for the harvester. I'd rather not empty in, have to get just a little wee bit. I did get all the little extra bits left by our helper and also anything I left for the most part. There's like just a tiny little bit here and there, but nothing substantial. But yeah, I think we did a good job. I think the uh, field owner will be very happy, very pleased. I'm pretty sure they made a ton of money off this field, like over a hundred grand easily. Like we, we've had what, like three? three truckloads at least yeah so it substantial very substantial I mean they're paying us very well to do the harvesting here so yeah we should be able to get this last little bit fantastic and uh, we'll take it up to the sell point and um, we'll see how much we can get for the last little bit here that'll be money straight in our pockets Let's see here. Not quite getting all that little bit, but we'll spin around. And there we go. All right. Nice work, folks. Nice work. Now, I did have the mod in installed that allows you to adjust the height of your um, header. So that helped tremendously on this field. I typically don't have it because I th oh sorry, I typically don't have it uh, installed because it interferes with one header or a few headers um, on on some beet harvesting equipment. I believe I can't remember what it was, but in this case it was, and it did help out. So if you don't know what that is, I'm controlling that right now independently. Like I can go up a little bit, I can go up a little bit, I can go up, I can go all the way down. So it did help out tremendously for what we were doing. So nice mod, very nice mod indeed. But I think in the future, I'm gonna try it without it and see what, how that works. I'm gonna drop the header here. Um. Yeah, we'll leave it there. Uh, actually, let me drive it over to the edge of the field. We'll fold up the harvester, leave it for the owner to come get. Then we'll jump in the truck and head up to the sell point. And I'll see you guys when I'm, I'm headed up to the sell point. I think this is a good spot here. Very nice. Dirty. <laughs> All right, I see you on the way up to the sell point.
Okay, everybody, last little stretch of the day. This is an interesting climb when uh, with a fully loaded trailer. Yeah, this this does it no problem. Like, well, I won't say no problem, but that first bend right there, the one we just passed, it slows down a little bit, but it gets the job done. Speaking of all of that, um, that is going to be one of the things we can maximize and optimize with our our ability and know how all things technical. We're like, you know, Iron Man for farming, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna modify some things and hopefully make things quicker, faster, and more efficient for all farmers everywhere. But this is gonna be our test platform and test area. We're gonna do it in the real world, real time. Okay, last, last load. And this is all money in our pockets, by the way. Ooh, nice. Okay, we'll get that going there. Let's see that money climb up. Let's see if I can get you guys a nice shot. This oh, just the end. Twelve thousand three hundred and thirty-five buccarinos. Very nice. All right. Well, I think that's gonna call. We're gonna call that an episode there. Uh, next time, what we're gonna do? As I mentioned earlier. We need to figure out where we're going to stay. Uh, and a, whether it's an apartment or just a house we can rent. I'm hoping it's a house we can rent that's kind of close to a shop. We'll, we'll need to look around a bit. This is a nice area up here. So that will likely be our our goal. So we're going to find a little bit more work, perhaps maybe another contract. But I think I feel pretty comfortable with what we had today as far as what we brought in. Um, we'll kind of run a, a little tally next time. And, hmm, like I said, look for a place. Looking at this equipment, though, we're we're going to have to invest in some equipment pretty soon. Sooner than I thought. I think it'll be better if we have the equipment and just transport it to the jobs and do that. We'll, we'll profit a little bit more. It's going to cost a little bit up front, of course. I mean, this type of equipment does. Maybe we can find some stuff in the, the used machine market. Yeah, we'll talk to our buddies at um, Clever Motors and see what that's all about. This is a lovely area. Well, thank you guys for joining me. You guys are fantastic. As I always say, you are the universe. The universe is you. I hope you're having a good day and take care. Till next time. See you later.